Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So in this video, I'll be showing you my about four battles in my faction, um, still faction, uh, Master League battles. So just a quick introduction. The, this is a team format, it's 7v7 plus one sub. And there is five belts. So you do, so each, each member does three battles and then whoever gets the most wins, wins the belt. So in this video, I'll be, I won't be including a background sound. So if you prefer it, let me know in the comments, or if you want, you know, to leave, uh, leave the background music out, let me know. So here I'm going to lead with Gyarados and they are going to lead with the Metagross. So this is a quite neutral lead. So what I do is I just go straight for crunch because they might not shield because they can't survive it and they don't shield. So now they do throw the charge moves as I get to the Aquatel, which is fine. I can let it go because I can't survive. So and I go straight for the Aquatel to pressure that shield or health. They do shield, so amazing. Now, I do have the shield, so I can just easily shield here and just farm it all the way down. And they do to set it swap, so um, I can go straight for crunch because I'm thinking what I want to do next, so I do have to stop because I don't want to let them farm, so I just go straight into my champ. And I do stick an encounter, which is amazing. And I can survive one surf, so I don't need to shield it. And I can just go straight for the payback. So I want to either get the second shield or KO this Kyogre. So, well, nearly close to KO in this Kyogre. So now they do get a little bit of farm, which is unfortunate. But I have one switch, so that's fine. And their mid is quite low, so I can just counter it down. And they, the last Pokemon is my champ. So I'm in a tricky spot. So um, I kind of have to bring my Snorlax because I don't want them to potentially counter my Gyarados down. So, and I have to shield this. So, and they do, I can survive this. So, now my game plan here is to throw this body slam and then try and get to an aqua tail or try to drain breath down. But yeah, they do throw, which is amazing. So, here I think I'm about three, yeah, one or two licks away, and this would be enough to KO the Machamp. So, that was a very close game, but well played to my opponent. So yeah, you may be wondering why I'm running my champ with no um, fighting charge moves. Well, the main idea behind it is that because my champ is level 50, so it is quite tanky and I need the rock slide for the coverage move and payback just hits very hard. So that's kind of my logic behind it. But anyway, I'm going with the same team, we get number two. So again, a Gyarados lead and I get Dragon Knight. So this is quite favorable, favorable for me because I'm doing super effective with the Dragon Breaths. Now I do have to shield because these Dragon Breaths are adding up on my Gyarados. Now I just spill up a little bit more and go straight for the Crunch. So I see if they want to shield, they do shield, that's fine. And here um, I go for the Aquatel because I'm scared they might get to another Dragon Claw, but they don't. So that's Dragon Knight Surprise 1 HP. Now I do go for the aggressive play here and shield and just farm it all the way down because I want to win switch. I am I, I have no shields left, which is fine, but I have one switch, so that's okay for me. They do bring in my champ. So I go straight for the aqua tail just to do some more damage. And I switch out to my champ because I don't want them to farm. And they bring in Kyogre, which is okay. They do still have a shield, so I go straight for a rock slide. And they do shield. So I do burn their, their second shield, which is amazing. And I go straight for the rock slide because I'm scared that I may not reach to a move. Yeah, so they do throw. So going straight rock side was the play there. Uh, they do KO me with a surf, that's fine. So I can come in with a Snorlax. I can survive this. Uh, I'm looking to potentially lick this Kyogre down. Cause I don't want to waste my, yeah. I don't want to waste my energy. So um, Snorlax can survive this. So I can just go for body slam here. They KO this Machamp. And I should be able to lick down the Kyogre. No, I come back with Garros, yeah. Oh, no, well that was, I don't know what's doing, but I should have probably just stayed in with the Snorlax, but, but it rocked out in the end, but that was extremely close. So I could have lost that. Um, but anyway, I somehow managed to win. Okay, so for game number three, I have decided to switch things up. Um, I'm going to go with Snorlax lead, but I'm going to stick with the same team, just in different lead, with, diff with a different lead. So. Horrible lead, so I have to swap out, safe swap to my Gyarados. So Gyarados is my safe swap, so they are deciding to stay in a little bit, which is okay for me. 
I'm just going to go straight for the Aqua Delta. They do decide to shield, which is telling me that they might be a bit weak to okay to bring in a Dragonite. So I'm going to go straight for the Crunch. And they don't shield, so that's fine. Now here, um, I go for the Aqua Delta because I'm fearing they might throw a Dragon Claw. And they do double shield. So I'm happy um, just letting the, the Gyarados go down because he has burned both their shields. So... I am coming with the Snorlax because I want the Snorlax to avoid the Machamp matchup. And here I do manage to lick down the Dragon Knight, I believe. And I can just go straight for the Body Slam against the Machamp. And then I can come in with my Machamp and just counter the Machamp down. And they have Kyogre, so I can just go for two Rock Slides and take the win. So I can even let this go if I want to, if they get to the Surf, but they won't. So. That's it. GG to my opponent and well played. So I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Uh, please let me know if you prefer me making the video videos with uh, no background music or if you prefer me, you know, making the videos with a small bit of background music so it doesn't, it's not, you know, bland or blank. So, so yeah, I will leave a link to the Still Faction um, page in the description below. So check it out if you want, if you're interested in joining a faction or playing the faction. So I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.